the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Make us worthy, O Lord, to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of heaven, ever and amen. Name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Sarah, it's all yours. <laughs> Busta, go for it. <laughs> Busta, sorry. Hello, you're starting. Hi, everyone. How is everybody doing? I see some people eating dinner. Dinner time, guys. Save the dinner for later. You're going to sing now. Victoria, I, I, you have the big eyes. Okay, Sarah, you want to start us? Um, are you going to Oh, wait. Can you get the, the questions that's us? The next slide. Yes. Okay. So the question for this hymn, we have three. Uh, what does it mean by his mercy endures forever? What does it what does to him who struck down great kings mean? And when did God lead his people in the wilderness? So those are the three questions. So pay attention. Okay. All right, let's get started. Amina Lilia Kiria Laison Kiria Laison Kiria Laison. Who give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Alleluia's mercy endures forever. I'll give thanks to the God of God. Alleluia's mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord of Lords, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who by wisdom made the heavens, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who laid out the earth above the waters, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who made great lights, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. The sun to rule by day, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. The moon and stars to rule by night, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who struck Egypt in their firstborn, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And brought out Israel from among them, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. With a strong hand and with an outstretched arm, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who divided the Red Sea in two, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And made Israel pass through the midst of it, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. But overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who retrieved water from a rock, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. To him who struck down great kings, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And slew famous kings, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. Sihon, the king of the Amorites, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And all the king of Bashan, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And gave their land as a heritage, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. A heritage to Israel, his servant, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. The Lord who remembered us in our lowly state, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. And rescued us from our enemies, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all flesh, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. Who give thanks to the God of heaven, Alleluia's mercy endures forever. I'll give thanks to the Lord of Lords, 
for he is good and the joy has mercy endures forever. Okay, question time. So <clears throat> what is it meant by his mercy endures forever? What do you guys think? Marley put up her hand. Marley. Um hi. Hi Maryam. I'm sorry to hi, Marley. I won't be able to join because I'm outside. Okay. Do you know do you have an answer? Um sorry, I just um, it's okay. Read the question and come back to you. Victoria, what do you sure. think? I think it's all of the above. Oh. Okay. Well, what, who else knows? I said James. Yeah, okay. James, what do you think? Uh, B. You think B? Okay. Sophia, what do you think? Um, I think it means God can forgive our sins. Okay. Marley, did you read the question? Yeah, I think it's all the above. You think it's all of the above? Okay. Okay. Anybody can else I, have any? Can I can I change mine to all of the above? Yes, you can change yours to all of the above, James. James, can you tell us why you think it's all of the above? Why why did you change it from B to, to D? James. James? Because all of them are true. All of them are true. Okay, why do you think all of them are true? <laughs> what makes you think it's 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 all of them? Is James with us? Is she shy? Can somebody else tell me why they chose B? All of you guys chose B. Does anybody want to explain their answer? Victoria or Marley? Is Marley still here? No? Or Sophia? I didn't choose D. I chose C. You chose C? Yeah. Okay. So you think it, his mercy endures forever means God can forgive our sins? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Does anybody else want to explain their answer? I know why I chose C. Okay. Why did you chose C? Because B, God's mercy is never endless. And um, and our sins hurt God is... Um, is like saying that like I don't know, but I I think it's God can forgive our sins because um I don't actually know, but I know that God's that B the answer is incorrect. Okay, you think B is incorrect? Yeah. Yeah, God's mercy is endless. Um, I don't think that's correct because I don't think God's mercy is endless. I think before we continue, we might just need to explain what the word endless means. Mm -hmm. Bessa, do you want to go for it? Endless, endless, endless means it never endless, ends. Endless means it keeps on going and going and going. Forever, yeah. yeah. So, forever. Uh, 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 and then the second one, God's mercy is endless, means God's mercy is forever and it doesn't end. That means he always has mercy. And then C is God can forgive our sins. And then D is all of the above, just so you guys understand a little bit. Okay, more. I'm changing. It's B. You think it's B? Yeah, I know. Okay. But it's because, it's because um, his mercy endures forever. It's the same thing as like saying that like, his mercy is like endearing forever. So yeah. instead they changed the uh, endures forever to endless. Okay. 
You guys are actually, D is the right answer. So all of them are true. So our sins hurt God, God's mercy is endless, and God can forgive our sins. So the answer is actually D. Okay? So let's do the next one. Let's do the next question. What does to him who struck down great kings mean? Who's a great king? Is John Hanna a great king? I don't know. No. No? Okay. Who is a great he, king? He, he's a Sunday school servant. So he can't be a king. Why would a king be a Sunday school servant? Uh, kings live in like palaces and all that stuff. Yeah. I think it's probably A. You think it's probably A? Okay. Me too. You too? It is not all of the above, though. It's not all of the above. You're right. It's not all of the above. And unfortunately, it's not John Hanna, or else uh, we would all be in his palace right now. You know, we just crashed at his place. Okay, anybody else? Can I say? Can I say? Yeah, Victoria, go ahead. Hey. A. Good job. Anybody? Abhinav, what do you think? Abhinav, are you with us? A. A. Good job. Okay. So you guys are saying A. Michael Fanus or Lara? Do you guys want to say? Or Sophia? But I said A. Oh, you said A. Oh, sorry. Your hand is still up. Okay. Good job, guys. It's A. We actually mentioned Pharaoh in the in the hymn. So it is A. Okay, next question. Okay, when did God lead his people in the wilderness? What do you guys think? Uh... Is it? Huh? Does anybody think it's A? Scouts camping trip? No, definitely not. No? They did know. not have camping trips back then. <laughs> Their lives were camping trips. Well, they didn't go on trips. Well, like, scouts didn't exist at that time, but camping did exist. That's true. That's true. I like this logic. So we crossed out A. What else? What else do you guys think? Um, Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem. Okay. We have we have one answer for C. Think about uh, that. Israelites in the desert. Okay. We have one for C and one for D. Think about the hymn when, when we sang. What what did we say? Who are we I talking about? C. You think C? Okay. Who are we talking about in the hymn? You know, who parted the great, the Red Sea and made the Israelites walk in the midst of it? What does that remind you of? Wait, um, the answer isn't really in here. It's in here, I promise. Um, I'm guessing for D. Is, is it Moses split, splitting the water in two? It is, it is, it was this, like, the, it was when, God that actually made him split. Yeah, exactly. But we're talking about the story of Moses. So what do you guys think? What happened after they split the Red Sea? Where did they go? In the desert. In the desert. Okay. So God led his people in the wilderness. Where did they go? In the desert. What's the answer? The desert. Yeah, it's D. So God led his people in the wilderness is when they were in the desert for 40 years. Okay, let's do the next one. All right. If they were in Jerusalem, then like they would, they want to have been slaves in Egypt. I don't, I don't okay, like, all righty. All right, so we're going to move on to the next hymn, which is a hymn that we've been singing together for a really long time now. So um, I'm expecting all of you guys like to see you guys sing with us. So this is the fourth host. 
which is the last host that we sing in Tisbeha. So let's get a look, let's take a look at the questions that we're going to answer so you can remember them. All right. So here are three questions. Um, we are going to see what three instruments we praise God with that are mentioned in the hymn. So, of course, nowadays we use different instruments, but look for the ones that we talk about in the hymn. Name one thing that we praise God for in the hymn. There's going to be options and you're going to pick which one and what instrument was not mentioned in this hymn. So also pay attention to the instruments that we mentioned. Um, so, yeah, let's get started with the hymn. Um, Mario, go for it. Amina Lena Kiria Lason Kiria Son Kiria Lason. Praise the Lord from the heavens, Alleluia, praise Him in the height. Praise Him, all His angels, Alleluia, praise Him, all His hosts. Praise, praise Him. Praise him, sun and moon, alleluia. Praise him, all you stars of light. Praise, Praise him, you heavens of heavens, alleluia. And you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, alleluia. For he commanded and they were created. He has ordered and they were created, alleluia. He has established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass away, alleluia. Praise the Lord from the earth. You greasy creatures and all the depths, alleluia. Fire and hail, snow and clouds and stormy winds fulfilling his words. Mountains and all hills, alleluia, fruitful trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, alleluia, creeping things and flying birds. Kings of the earth and all people, alleluia, princes and all judges of the earth. Both young men and Maidens, alleluia, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, alleluia, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above the earth and heaven, alleluia, and he has exalted the horn of his people. The praise of all his saints, alleluia, the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Alleluia, 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 sing to the Lord a new song, alleluia, and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in their maker, alleluia, let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the chorus, alleluia. Let them sing praises unto him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people, alleluia. He'll raise them meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, alleluia. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouths, alleluia, and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance on the nations, alleluia, and punishments on the people. To bind their kings with chains, alleluia, and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute on them the written judgment, alleluia, this honor have all his saints. Alleluia, 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 praise God in all his saints, alleluia. Praise him in the firmament of his power, alleluia. Praise him for his mighty acts, alleluia. Praise him according to the multitudes of his greatness, alleluia. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, alleluia. Praise him with psaltery and harp, alleluia. Praise him with temporal 
and chorus, alleluia. Praise him with strings and organs, alleluia. Praise him with pleasant sounding cymbals, alleluia. Praise him upon the symbols of joy, alleluia. Let everything that has breath praise the name of the Lord our God, alleluia. Lux sabatri ke eu ke ageum nemati, alleluia. En in ke a in ke estos te onos ton yonon ami, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, lux asio te o simon, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, pi o o fa pe no te be, alleluia. Good. Awesome. All right. So let's see the first question. So what are the three instruments that we praise God in this hymn with? Is it A, cymbals, trumpets, and organs? Is it B, the guitar, piano, and violin? C, the drums, the tuba, and the saxophone? Or D, the banjo, the French horn, and the xylophone? What do you guys think? I think A. <clears throat> you think A? Okay. Who else? Abinub thinks A as well. That's good. I think A as well for Victoria. Okay. Who else? Does anyone else have an answer other than A? Sophia. Um, I think B. B, the guitar, the piano, and the violin. Okay, so we have a majority of people that said cymbals, trumpets, and organs, and um, someone said B as well. Uh, the correct answer is A, so cymbals, trumpet, and organs. Um, yes, nowadays we can use multiple different instruments to sing praises, but the ones that were mentioned in this hymn specifically were the cymbals, the trumpet, and the organ, um, and the organs. So well done, good job. Uh, next question. Um, what is one thing that we praise God for in this hymn? Is it A, his mighty acts, B, saving the Israelites, C, giving us food and water, or D, for our homes? Sophia, what do you think? Saving the Israelites. Saving the Israelites, okay. <clears throat> Who else? What do you guys think? What do we praise God for in this hymn? So we have one answer for B, saving the Israelites. Am I the act? Okay, Victoria says Mighty Acts. So we have one for Mighty Acts and one for Saving the Israelites. Does anyone want to be a tiebreaker? Uh, mighty Acts. Mighty Acts, all right. Um, thank you for, for breaking that tie, James. And um, you guys are right, it is Mighty Acts. So in this hymn, we, we thank God for um, his Mighty Acts. Not that we don't thank him for the other stuff, but specifically in this hymn, again, just like we mentioned, it's for his mighty acts. And for the last question, what instrument was not mentioned in this hymn specifically, okay? So there's three of them that were, <laughs> okay, so cymbals, timbrel, fruit, and harp. So James says flute. Sophia? Harp. Harp, okay, Victoria? Flute. Flute. Okay. Does anyone have any other answers? We have Abinub. Flute. Flute. Okay. So we have three for flute, one for harp. Anyone have any other answers? I'm changing for uh, an auction. I'm not changing. No. 
All right, the correct answer is the flute. That's the one instrument that was not mentioned in this hymn, but the cymbals, the timbrel, and the harp were all mentioned. Um, so good job, most of you guys. Well done. All right, so now we're going to move on to the Friday Psali. We do this sometimes. I think we haven't done it for a while, but we used to do it. So um, if we could go to the questions. Uh, when did God put out the power of the fire? What is the main lesson we learned from the Psali, and what is the name of salvation? So can we move on? Thank you. For truly I approach a great prince, which is the name of salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to escape from the face of the bulls. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to shut the mouths of lions. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to put out the power of fire. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to cast out the devils. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to prevail over their enemies. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants who do fear him to heal every sicknesses. Wherefore, let us glorify our Lord Jesus Christ and his good Father and the Holy Spirit. This is the name of salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ and his life-giving cross, which he was crucified upon. Blessed is the man who forsakes this life and its vain pleasures that are full of suffering that kill the soul. And he endures cross day after day, and keeps his mind and heart on the name of salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our hearts are happy, and our tongues rejoice whenever we sing to the name of salvation of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so that was it. It's really short, but it's pretty nice. Um, the first question: When did God? When did God put out the power of the fire? Does anyone know where in the Bible we're referencing? Um, Sophia, is, is that a hand up for this question or is that like from last time? From last time. Okay, do you still want to take a guess though or no? Okay, that's a pretty good guess. Ivanoob, I heard you said you wanted to try. Um, I think it is D. Okay, so you agree with Sophia. Victoria, I saw you run away from the iPad and come back. So do you want to give a guess? Um, D. Yes, good guess. Um, let's see who has not spoken at all. Can I? Can I say? <laughs> yeah, whoever said that, sure. D. Oh, good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, good guess. Who was that, by the way? What? Who, who said, who, was, who just said D? Me, James. Oh, good job, James. Um, Laura, do you want to give it a shot or no? Okay. Take that as a no. I believe the answer is D. I didn't write these questions, so if I get them wrong, someone tell me, but I believe that the answer is D. So he put out the power of the fire with the three Sibley youths in, in the furnace. Great job, guys. Next question. What is the main lesson we learned from the Sali? So is it the power of the sign of the cross, the power of the Jesus prayer, uh, how to sing, or is it both the power of the Jesus prayer and the power of the sign of the cross? Does anyone want to give it a guess? This one seems a bit difficult. D? 
Okay, good guess, good guess. Sophia, is that still from last time? No, um, D. Okay, good guess. Um, <laughs> Abanu, what do you think? Or did you already say D, Abanu, actually? I didn't say D already. Oh, sorry, okay. But my answer was gonna be D. Sorry, I, sometimes when you guys just say it, I don't see who says it, so I'll just, sorry. James, did you answer? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was you then. Okay, great. Michael Fenus, do you want to give it a shot? No, thank you. Okay. Victoria, what do you think? D. All right. Um, I believe the answer is D as well. Yes. Yeah, so we keep saying our Lord Jesus Christ gave a sign to his servants, and we talk about the power of the cross in one verse and the power of the Jesus prayer. Um, next question, please. Thank you. Um, what is the name of salvation? So is it the name of Jesus? Is it Michael Stephanos, Sarah Habib, Miriam Buster, or David Hanna? Um, wow, easy, A. It's okay. first, first of all, I can tell by there's My, Michael, I think is a servant. Sarah is definitely a servant. Miriam is a servant, and David Hanna is a servant. Wow, you put a lot of thought into that. Very logical reasoning. You should go into like engineering or something. Hey, I Good know job, what you say because B, C, D, and D are all servants typically. I want to stress to you guys that I did not write these questions, okay? So if someone asks about these questions, I didn't write them. I just used them, okay? Just make sure you say that. Thank you. Um, yeah, the answer is A. <laughs> Good job, guys. Next Tim. All right. Um, the next hymn is Your Mercies. And um, we've also been singing this hymn for quite a while now. So uh, let's see the, what the questions are for this week for this hymn. So we're going to mention a publican in um, one of the verses. And what does a publican mean? All right. This was something that was used in the old, um, in the Bible. And let's see what it means. And which sicknesses do we ask God to heal for us? And what does, this is going to be, this is a new one. This is a Coptic translation, okay? What does nembeb nivma ith oweb mean? You're going to see it mentioned in the very last slide. So try to match what that phrase in Coptic means in English. We're going to translate it together. Sarah? Um, yes. You know, um, that was the actual word I was going to say for the thing you were asking me. Really? That's the one you were going to pick? That's awesome. I had a feeling. That's why I put it in the slide. So you're going to be able to answer for me at the end of the hymn. Deal? Yes. All right. All right. Let's get started. Just are you ready? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Your mercies, oh my God, are countless and exceedingly plenteous are your compassions. All the raindrops are counted by you, and the sand of the sea is before your eyes. How much more are the sins of my soul manifest before you, O oh, my Lord? The sins that I have committed do not remember my Lord, and do not count my iniquity. For you have chosen the publican, and the adulteress you have saved, and the right hand thief, my Lord, you have remembered. And I, to the sinner, teach me, O oh my Lord, to offer repentance. For you do not desire the death of a sinner, but rather that he returns and that his soul may live. Restore us, O God, to your salvation, and deal with us according to your goodness. 
For you are good and merciful. Let your compassion speedily come to us. Have compassion upon us all, O Lord God, our Savior, and have mercy upon us according to your great mercy. Remember those, O Christ, our Master, be among us, and proclaim and say, My peace I give to you, the peace of my Father I leave with you. O King of peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, and forgive us our sins. Disperse the enemies of the church, and fortify her that she may not be shaken forever. Emmanuel, our God, is now in our midst with the glory of his Father and the Holy Spirit. May he bless us all and purify our hearts and heal the sicknesses of our souls and bodies. Teno oshtem moko bechristos nem bechiotin avatos nem beb nem mathoa shayaki aksoti emon. All right. So we mentioned in the hymn a publican. What does a publican mean? Is it A, a Pharisee, B, a, a tax collector. collector, C, the Roman soldiers, or D, king? So James says tax collector. Victoria, we've, done this, we've done this question before. I know, but you guys got it wrong last time, so we have to do it again. <laughs> Victoria, what do you think? Tax collector. Tax collector, okay. Anyone else? If no one else is going to answer, um, then yeah, you guys are right. So we're not going to do this question again, all right? This is the last time we're doing it. Who is a publican? A tax collector. Um, just like um, Matthew in the, Old, in the New Testament, right? So remember this forever. Publican, tax collector. Good job, you guys. So which sicknesses do we ask God to heal for us? Is it um, are the sicknesses of our souls, the sicknesses of our bodies? Both our souls and, and bodies. And and C, A, C, C, A, C, C, A, and B. Whoa, so many letters going around. Okay, so Abinub and James both think it's C, which is the sicknesses of our souls and the sicknesses of our bodies. Does anyone have any other answers? Or do we all agree on C, which is both A and B? Do we all agree? It doesn't seem like anyone else has their hand up. C. C? Sophia. Uh, sorry. Um, I think it's um, none of the other. I know it. I think it's A. A of our souls? Does anyone have any other answers? So we have A and we have C. So most of you guys are correct. It is um, of our souls and bodies. So we ask God to hear, heal both of those sicknesses for us. So the right answer is C. Good job. I and knew finally, it was C, but I said another answer. <laughs> that's okay, Sophia. You are on the right track. Um, and finally, what does... Can I say it? I don't know. Can I say it? Yes, what does it mean? I'm just going to read the answers and then you can tell me which one. Does it mean and the Holy Spirit? Does it mean God the Father? Does it mean and the Son? Or does it mean we worship you? Abinu, what do you think? It is A. A and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Julian, what do you think? Sarah, so I think it's I think it's A. James, you think it's A as well? Okay. Julian, what do you think? I think A. Victoria, you think A? Okay, Sophia? I think it's A as well. A? 
And I know why, because Nim 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 is a web is part of Satan, and the name of the father is like, um, uh, it's like, it's a, it's a part of, um, it's a part of, and uh, in, in the name of the father and of the Holy Spirit. Good job. Yeah. So you guys are all correct. It does mean and the Holy Spirit. So when you were translating it at the end, you guys got it right. Well done. Yeah, right. That's part of my thing I was going to say in Sunday school. Yeah, that's amazing. Good job, Amadun. You Now you linked both of them together. That's really good. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're, you were done, Sarah, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's go, guys, into the final hymn. It's called the Friday Theotokaya. I think last time we did it was a long time ago, so it's a, it's a good review for you guys. Um, it's a very easy hymn. So here are the questions. Okay, first question is what did Christ take from us? So we will you'll find out in the hymn that we say he took what is ours and gave us what is his. So what did he take from us? What is what is ours? What is what is what are we talking about? What are we referring to? Second Our question. Sin. Huh? Our sin. Um, sure. Well, you'll find out. That's one of the answers, not all the answers. <laughs> um, number two is what did Christ give us in return? So he took something from us and then he gave us something in return. Last question is how did Christ restore us again to paradise? You'll find the, the, the answer exactly in the hymn. Okay. Um, John, you ready? Okay. So I'll start. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is your fruit, O Mary, the mother of God, the undefiled virgin. For the Son of Righteousness shone unto us from you with healing under his wings, for he is the Creator. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. You are blessed more than heaven and more honored than earth. You exceed every thought. Who can speak of your honor? No one is like you, Mary the Virgin. The angels honor you, and the seraphim glorify you. For he who sits upon the cherubim came and was incarnate of you, and he united us with him through his goodness. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. Blessed are you, Mary, and blessed is your fruit, O Virgin Mother of God, the bread of virginity. He who existed before all ages came and was incarnate of you and the ancient of the days came out of your womb. He took our body and gave us his Holy Spirit and made us one with him through his goodness. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. Many women were honored, yet you exceeded them all, for you are the pride of virgins, O Mary, the mother of, of God. Who are the soul city where the Most High One lived, who sits upon the throne of the Sherubim? The Seraphim glorify him. And you held him in your arms, he who gives food to all flesh through his great compassion. He held to your breast, and you fed him, for he is our God and the Savior of everyone. He shepherds all of us forever and ever. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. We took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. Oh, Virgin Mary. Oh, Virgin Mary, that was my answer. 
the fruit of your womb came and saved the world, and he abolished all limity and granted us his peace. Through his cross and his holy resurrection, he restored man once again to the paradise. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Mother of God, the trusted advocate of the human race. Intercede on our behalf before Christ, whom you have borne, that he may grant unto us the forgiveness of our sins. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. The Virgin Mary has proclaimed in the altar, saying, My peace God does know. For I know nothing other than the voice of the angel announcing the joy coming to me from heaven. He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise and glorify him and exalt him. All right, question time. So first question, um, what did Christ take from us? So we said that he took something from us and gave us what is his. So what did he take from us? Did he take death? Did he take our sins? As someone graciously told us. And um, or did he take our tribulations or everything, all of the above? So Julian, go ahead. B. B, our sins. Okay, good guess. Victoria. No, all of the above. All of the above. Okay, very good. Victoria. All of the above. All of the above. Sophia. I think Sophia has her hand up and she's not even there. We can just see a picture of Hawaii or something. <laughs> okay, anyone else wants to take a guess? James, go ahead. D. D, okay. So everyone agrees? Yeah, it is D. All of the above. He took our death, gave us his life. Uh, actually, I, I shouldn't say why he gave us, because that's the next question. <laughs> so what did Christ give us? He gave us his eternal life. Did he give us his peace? Did he give us his righteousness? Or again, all of the above. Uh, I don't know if you guys have your hands up from last question or that's something new. James, go. Uh, what did Chris give us? Um, mm -hmm. all, of the, all of the above. All of the above? Okay, very good. Uh, Can I go? Yeah, go. All of the above. Very good. Any other uh, guesses? Okay. So yeah, it is all of the above, guys. Good job. Um, last but not least, what the, how did Christ restore us back to paradise? So was it through his death and resurrection? Was it through his incarnation? Was it through his ascension to heaven? Or was it through his ascension to heaven? Or all of the above again? <laughs> you guys can go. You can just unmute and say it if you want. All of the above. All of the above, okay. Michael, finish. All of the above. Okay, very good. Michael? Three all of the above so far. The yeah, all of the I'm above. I'm all the questions this time for this hint. <laughs> it's all of the above. Um, all the questions are all of the above. So, yeah, yeah, you guys are right. All of the above. We should change those answers next time to make it a little bit harder. <laughs> but in the hymn, actually, by the way, it is all of the above, by the way. But in the hymn, we said through his, through his death and his through his cross and his holy resurrection, he restored us back to paradise. So the hymn said death and resurrection only. But in reality, it's all of the above. It's everything. Okay, so like everything that Christ did for us was in order to restore us back to him. To heaven. Sorry, someone said something. So it's right, but it's wrong. Well, it's still all of the, all of the above, but I, I'm just saying, like in that specific hymn, we only we only said death and resurrection. But uh, you guys are right; it's all of the above. Don't worry about what I said. <laughs> okay, so that's it. We don't have any more hymns uh, for today. Um, I'm happy that you guys are participating. We have 
quite a few people who are actually attending every single week, which is good, which is great. Um, we hope to see more people. If you guys have any friends um, or anyone that you know of who, um, who might not be attending, please encourage them to attend. Because it's so you're actually place. breaking up. Sorry. Sorry, what's that? I'm not sure what she was just saying. You froze. Yeah, her computer froze. That's why she couldn't hear me. <laughs> okay, so let's pray together and then uh, we'll let you guys go. Um, can one of the servants volunteer to pray? <laughs> anyone would like to? Do we have anyone who wants to pray? I can pray for us. You can go, yeah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us all here today. Thank you, God, for allowing us to be gathered uh, virtually to praise you and sing praises all together. Uh, please, God, be with us throughout our week. Be with everyone who's working. Be with everyone who's in school or even if we're just enjoying our summer. Um, be with us in everything that we do and bless everything that we do. Through the intercession of St. Mary and St. Joseph in the choir of your saints, hear us when we say thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.